good morning friend this is professor afaq ahmed and today i am going to demonstrate our most important experimental setup that is dead weight pressure gauge this setup is called as dead weight pressure gauge here this one is called as a reservoir these two are the knobs by means of which we can either supply or close the system on left and right hand side of the system this is a rotating wall or and in that system we have attached when piston and cylinder assembly in it and this is a reservoir by means of which we are supplying oil as a working medium and this total system is works on the principle of pascal's law whenever the pressure applied in a closed conduit will be exerted equally in all the direction we are applying the pressure through this system okay through this rotating handle there is one cylinder and piston assembly by means of which we are increasing the pressure these are pressure plates having different uh, scales you can see this the units of this pressure plate is 0.5 kg per centimeter square so instead of taking the weight of this pressure plate in terms of kg or newton we are converted or uh, we have uh, constructed this plate in terms of 0.5 kg per centimeter square as a basic units so we are having different types of uh, pressure plates here by means of which we are applying the pressure okay we'll have to keep these pressure plates on this platform this pressure gauge is called as bordon tube pressure gauge but it is reference type this pressure gauge is called as again modern to type of pressure gauge but it is uh, of reference type okay first is uh, this 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 one is uh, reference and this one is uh, commercial type of pressure gauge now what we'll have to do uh, before starting of this experiment we'll have to make sure that this valve will be closed so i am simply closing this valve so what will happen if i am closing this valve and building oil pressure inside the system the oil will not be catered to the reservoir it will not go towards the reservoir okay so uh, make sure that this uh, valve is closed perfectly now what i have to do is i need to apply or i need to put the pressure plate on the platform suppose considering this pressure plate uh, see the weight of this pressure plate is around 2.0 kg per centimeter square i am simply applying the pressure plate on this platform it is perfectly fitted okay now uh, how it works actually uh, the basic working principle is whenever i will apply the pressure to the system okay through this handle because of this pressure present in the system this plate will start lifting upward direction and after some duration of time if i am consistently applying the pressure to the system what will happen it will lift and float the moment it will start floating we can calibrate and we can measure the pressure by using these two gauges this is the reference gauge this is the commercial gauge and we can calibrate the system like the standard pressure that we have applied by means of this plate is 2 kg per centimeter square in ideal condition our reference gauge has to show the readings in terms of 2 kg per centimeter square 
as well as our commercial gauge is also have to show the readings 2 kg per centimeter square if these 2 kgs are not showing the same reading that the pressure that we have applied by means of this pressure plate it means there is an error present in the system now i am simply applying the pressure here you can see how it will lift i am rotating it in clockwise direction So we need to apply force, we need to apply pressure through this rotating wheel. And here in reference gear you can see the pressure is building now. Now we need to concentrate on floating movement of this wheel. See, it has been lifted and it has been free to rotate. Here it, it took its uh, base position. Okay. And here we can measure the pressure. It is 2 kg per centimeter square exactly. Okay. The pressure is 2 kg, it's around 2 kg, it's not exactly 2 kg per centimeter square. As well as we need to take the reading of this commercial gauge, which is near about 0 0.1 kg, which is less than that. So, there is an error present in the system. So, the same way we will have to increase the number of plates and the total weight into the system and we can again calibrate the system for further uh, requirement thank you very much for watching this video subscribe me for more videos thank you